time at 5 o'clock p.m. on a Sunday where Moongaze decides, you know what, I just want to talk about shit, get shit off my chest about dumbass content creator decisions. <coughs> About dumbass content creator decisions. I don't know why it's picking up my voice so much. Anyway, it doesn't usually do that. So, you've seen the title of today's stream. Group channels. Now, group channels have been around since the dawn of YouTube. I believe one of the first ones, or at least the one that revolutionized the group channel the genre, is Smosh. Where it's not one guy, it's two guys, which became a team. Just developing a cool project. Sorry if I seem a bit out of breath, by the way. I've just been doing a lobby parkour, and it's been annoying. Mm. Anyway. <coughs> Group channels are a bit of an anomaly, because there are very few that go far. Obviously, Smosh, the, the original two Smosh people, split up. So I don't think they count as a group channel, more as like a pseudo-corporation fighting to be relevant on YouTube still. And Fine Bros, that's like, again... It's more of a corporation now. <clears throat> the group channels that I want to talk about are the, you know, here's one content creator who makes this kind of content, here's another kind of content creator that makes a similar kind of content, boom, they're together now, and they're going to do some cool shit. You've got the duo channel, like, um, Cody Co and Noel Miller, that's fun. Um, that's, the, that's still going. Then you've got, like, the bunch of content creators that make similar kinds of content for the most part, and that's, like, the Sidemen. And then you get into the the large, large list of group channels which completely failed. Okay, let's, let's start from the top. You got XO. You know, XO went, it went for a bit. It was, it was good. The ultimate reason why it's failed is because they didn't make similar kinds of content and they didn't live close to each other. You have the E-Boys, again, featuring Will and E. What a coincidence that he's on this list twice somehow. <laughs> but he seems to be the killer of group channels because the E-Boys also died. And not only did it have, like, <clears throat> like a normal death where they just announced the end of it, it had... They were doing weekly uploads, they stopped doing weekly uploads, came back for one video and then proceeded to give us very sporadic uploads through the rest of the year. And then the video stopped, and the podcast kept going, and then the podcast just stopped, and it was announced on Twitter that it's over. R.I.P. E-Boys. I really enjoyed the E-Boys, uh, for the most part. Um, you got the Dream Team channel. Anyone remember the old school Dream Team channel? You got Dream, you got Goggy, you got Sapnap, and all three of them making videos together, like they do on each other's channels anyway, but this time it's on a group channel. It didn't really make a difference to the content that it was on a group channel, but the group channel's been dormant for now how long? Let me Google it. Um, dr Dream Team. Dream Team, the, the channel. Fuck. Fuck, uh, YouTube. Here we go. Uh, their last upload was, uh, Minecraft but X-Ray is on, and that was, uh, midway through 2020. So, you know, it's, it's been a fair bit, it's been a fair bit since Dream Team uploaded. Then you got the big one. The big group channel that everyone knows about, and everyone was upset. <sighs> sorry. It's so irrelevant now. Oh. I'm talking about Team Crafted. Team Crafted was a group channel where they were just like, boom, here's, was it seven? Seven big content creators who make similar kinds of things. They tried to start a content house. They failed to start a content house. I covered that last week. And then they tried to run a successful group channel and they fucking failed to do that because some people were like, business, business, money, money, business, money, business. And other people were like, let's just have fun. We're here to have fun. But it failed in the end anyway. Let's let's have a think about some other group channels that have been around. Okay, I can't think of any off the top of my head. But this is why This is why recently Tommy Annett has been concerning me with his ideas. Because he's been like He said I wanna start a group channel and he said I wanna start a content house. And I'm like Really? 
Tommy that there's a high chance that both of them fail, I'll be honest. You know, there's not really other many other high profile group channels now. You mean oh. other than the Sidemen. Who, you know, they got a long list of video ideas. They're not going anywhere within the next two years. Personally, I don't watch them as much as I used to, as much as I did like six months ago. I don't know, I just it's kinda lost interest. Uh the video's got too long, I guess. But like if you're going to, like, with, with with the Dream Team one, for example, you all, like, because they upload not that frequently, they are all in each other's uploads when they come out. So what's the point of having a channel where it's like, boom, just the three of us? Yo! It's, so, it's not really exclusive content that you can only find on that group channel. It just so happens to be uploaded to a channel with less exposure and less subscribers. It doesn't make any sense for growth. So we wrap up. Group channels can be great. They could be great. But they're not. You know? I, I'd love for them to have some actual impact in the community. And I'd love for more group channels to be as successful as the Sidemen. But the fact is, they just won't. And that's all I have to say. This has been me goon-mazing around, I suppose. Goodbye.